Androgen deprivation therapy, also known as ADT, is a type of treatment for prostate cancer. You may hear people use the term hormone therapy in place of ADT. ADT treatment blocks the production of male hormones called androgens. Testosterone is an androgen. Prostate cancer cells need androgens to grow. ADT is used to slow down the growth and spread of cancer cells. ADT may be prescribed for you before and after your surgery or radiation treatments. Your oncologist may also suggest ADT if your cancer has spread outside your prostate or if you have a recurrence of your prostate cancer. You will be given a schedule by your healthcare team which tells you how often you will be given your ADT treatments. When you come in for your ADT treatment appointment, please bring your medication with you. The medication will be given to you by an injection. A nurse will give you this injection. This will only take a few minutes. It is important to let the nurse know if you have any questions or concerns about your ADT treatments. Taking ADT may cause you to have some side effects. Some of the more common side effects you may have are hot flashes, breast enlargement and tenderness, lack of sexual desire, erectile dysfunction, in other words, not being able to have an erection, irritability, headache, fatigue, and weight gain. You may not have all of these side effects. It's important to talk to your healthcare team about your side effects. They will tell you what you can do to manage your side effects. For example, staying active and doing light exercise, such as walking, may help you with weight gain and fatigue. While taking ADT, it's important for you to be honest about how you're feeling with those that are close to you. This may include a partner, family member, or friend. Talking with others about your feelings and the side effects you're having may be helpful for you. I've been on um, hormone therapy for nine months now, so I've gone through a range of um, effects, side effects. Uh, probably the most dramatic is hot flashes. Originally, when it first started, it would be a blast of heat up my neck that would basically stop me in my tracks. So then I talked to my doctor about this, and she put me on some medicine, probably three months into this, on medicine, and it dramatically changed the hot flashes. I didn't have them during the day. I didn't have that duration of them. I would get two or three at night, and I still get two or three at night, but instead it's just kind of a warm, rising temperature in your body, nothing, no blast of heat. One of the other side effects I experienced uh, relatively early on was breast tenderness. Uh, they said it would be a factor, and just on my left side, I encountered that, and uh, I bet you it didn't last longer than two months. It, it kind of came and went. There's no effects at all now from that. It was very short term, but it was definitely a side effect. I think the information I received was very thorough. There was, for example, going to be a lack of sexual desire. You drop off your testosterone, you're blocking your testosterone, so there is no male hormone generating that. And it hasn't been hard because there's no testosterone, there's no desire, so you're not really missing anything. You know, I, I view it as this uh, hormone treatment is a process I'm going to go through 18 to 24 months, and when it's over, I kind of look forward to resuming my daily life as it was. Yeah. It's very important um, to have a support, and if you have a friend, and, and you know, some people don't want to know about it, and, and it's been, you know, not every friend is a, that person to talk to. Uh, there's certain people, you know, you that are you're closer to, or you'll share things with more, you know. It's a good thing to have because if you internalize everything yourself, you can beat yourself up that way thinking about things and there's no need for it. You know, people are there to support you. You just sometimes have to open up and they're there for you.